Welcome to the channel. My name is Kubair. I'm a CICC licensed immigration consultant. This channel is all about Canadian immigration news, updates, things you should do, things you should not do with your Canadian immigration application. And this is the hot topic we have for today, SDS versus non-SDS. Now, what does it mean? This topic is about the international students and study permit applications. Now, if you belong to one of the 14 countries, Antigua and Barbuda, Brazil, China, Colombia, Costa Rica, India, Morocco, Pakistan, Peru, Philippines, Senegal, St. Vincent and Grenadines, Trinidad and Tobago, Vietnam. These are the 14 countries. If you are a citizen of any of these countries and if you currently reside in that country, very, very important, you have to be residing in that country at the time of your application then you are eligible to apply under the SDS stream. Now, what is the meaning of SDS stream? SDS stream stands for student direct stream. It was touted or it was promoted by IRCC as a faster way and a more express way of processing the study permit applications. Obviously, there are some other conditions in the SDS stream as well. You need to be able to score in your uh, language at least CLB 7, uh, 6 in each. And uh, you also need to be paying your college tuition fee upfront for at least one year and or the whole program if you wish to. You have to be able to pay 10,000 Canadian dollars to the GIC Guaranteed Investment Certificates to a bank in Canada so that your living expenses are taken care of. So these are the three main criteria conditions in addition to the fact that you are a national and a resident of the 14 listed countries that I showed you. So once you do all of this, then you are eligible under SDS, which IRCC touted is going to be an express stream, a faster stream to process your study permit applications. However, what was being seen is that it is, I mean, initially it was, when it was launched, it was said that they would be processing these applications in 20 days, 20 to 30 days at most. At this point of time, I know I have so many clients whose applications we have submitted under SDS and there is no sign of any decision for the last three, four months. I think we're getting into the fifth month now. We have been submitting applications since March. We haven't heard decisions on them. The effect or the impact is that the students are having to either defer their courses to the next intake or defer their programs to the next intake or they don't know what, what, what they're going to be doing at this point of time. Conditions are obviously stressing a lot of people out. What is non-SDS? Non-SDS basically means you do not have to pay your entire course fee or a tuition fee or one year fee upfront. You can simply just pay your deposit or you can just pay your one semester fee and that's fine. You obviously should be able to show that you have enough funds to meet the expense for your education and your living expenses. Uh, and you obviously have to just make an application to say that this is the reason why you want to come to Canada and study. And uh, the approval rates have always differed. SDS is always considered to have a higher approval rates versus the non-SDS streams. However, what has been seen is with this huge processing issues and the backlogs that IRCC is facing, suddenly non-SDS is getting processed much faster than the SDS. And we were all been wondering why that is happening. Uh, mind you, it is not happening in every single case, but in a lot of cases, especially in, in, in the cases like India and all, we were seeing non-SDS is getting processed faster than SDS. Now, one of the big reasons is because SDS, a lot of SDS applications are Obviously, they're online applications. They're getting directed and processed in Canada, mostly largely in CPC Ottawa. And when they were being processed in Ottawa, the processing times, as we all know, are quite long at this point of time. And uh, thanks to the artificial intelligence, thanks to Chinook, the also the refusal rejection rate is also quite high. Versus non-SDS stream, non-SDS stream typically are processed at the local visa offices. So if you're filing an application from India, you would be processed in India. In New Delhi visa office and there the, they have been able to actually render decisions much faster and in a lot of cases if you have been able to make a good application the outcome has also been favorable which is quite arbitrary and quite contradictory to what IRCC had been promoting. So what does that mean? Does that mean that you should start switching your application from SDS to non-SDS? Does this mean can you also make an application in non-SDS and SDS? Does it mean all of that? Well, I'm not saying any of that. First of all, I never encourage that you submit two applications Okay, at the same time. Uh, it is only going to create a issue in complexity of for, for the person who is dealing on the other side, you will then, instead of having one, you may actually have two refusals before you have even addressed the exact concerns, number one. Number two, at the end of the day, the approval rate for SDS still, at this point of time, is better than non-SDS because you are able to make a much better case while you are in the SDS to show that 
you have the funds, you have the GIC, you have paid the college tuition fee, you have the language benchmark scores, and you are in a position to be able to complete your education, your studies in Canada in a much better manner versus in the non SDS tree. While it's still a catch 22 to understand, should you go the SDS way or a non SDS way? My recommendation would still be to go the SDS way. I know this, this is a problem at this point of time. Hopefully this should get sorted out as we move forward. If you have a good application, if you have everything in order, if you just choose to leave one factor out, for example, your GIC, but you're still able to show plenty of funds in your account, then yes, you can also file your application in a non SDS stream and try and take advantage of a faster processing time at this, at this juncture. So decision is yours, but this was a hot topic for discussion between SDS versus non SDS. Connect with us on social media, Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, and of course on TikTok and Twitter. And if you're still here, then drop us a like so that we can get this or smash Hulk smash a like so we can get this video out to most and more and more people out there. And also if you still haven't subscribed to the channel, then please do please subscribe to the channel, hit on the subscribe button so that obviously you can see those numbers growing up as well. Thank you very much for doing that. If you've done it already, thank you so much for joining in. I shall see you next time. Until then, stay safe and take care.